It's important that we fit the right type of pad to suit the vehicle's driving application. In this case, this vehicle gets driven quite hard on the road, but also gets some occasional track time. So today, we're actually going to fit Bendix's new SRT, or Street Road and Track. Now it's time for us to fit the pads to the caliper. So we need to get the caliper out for easy access, and then fit the pads in. It's important that we make sure that the friction material is going to be against the disc. We need to make sure that the pads are well secured in their correct position and that all anti-rattle shims are in the correct place. It's important when we're bolting the caliper on that we make sure that we torque up the nuts and bolts correctly that retain the caliper. Failure to do that could result in either a bolt being stripped and the caliper coming loose during operation, which could be potentially extremely dangerous. It's important before we fit the wheel that we check what the cleanliness of the mounting face is like, especially when fitting the wheel back when the vehicle's been fitted with our DBA 5000 series rotor with an aluminium hat. To get a good even clamping pressure on that hat, we need a good clean flat surface here. So what we're going to do today is we'll use our oil stone or hone stone that we use to clean the hub and we'll just basically rub it over the face of the, the wheel to make sure that we remove any of the debris or high spots on the wheel. This will then enable us to get a good clean clamping pressure. It's important that when we refit the wheel that we actually torque the wheel nuts up correctly. This can be done in a couple of different methods. One of the most common is people like to use a rattle gun. It's important that you also use the correct torque stick with it. This limits the amount of torque that's applied to the wheel nut through the rattle gun so that you don't over torque the wheel nuts and strip the wheel nuts. The other alternative is a traditional method which is using the good old torque wrench so that we can torque the wheels up correctly. This though requires the vehicle to be on the ground. We're now going to fit the wheel. I'm making sure the wheel is all the way home against the, the disc. We now gently just run the wheel nuts up until they just, just contact. Now the wheel's secure, but the wheel nuts aren't tight. It's important now that when we tighten them up, we do it in a crisscross manner. Well, this concludes this tech talk on how to fit a hat type rotor to the modern day motor vehicle. In the next episode, we'll cover the optimum way of bedding in brakes. Until next time, Safe braking, see you soon.